This will be a two-part experiment showing the effect of protease on pasteurized eggs both uncooked and hard-boiled. The experiment has been set up in such a way to show the digesting potential of protease and not the quantitative hydrolyzation of protein. The idea behind part one is that when an uncooked store-bought pasteurized egg is left out at room temperature, the proteins and gelatin contained within the egg will congeal to form a semi-solid state. Whereas the uncooked egg with the addition of protease will hydrolyze the proteins to the point where it remains in a free-flowing state. This would indicate to us that some protein hydrolysis has occurred. The idea behind part two is that when an egg is boiled, the proteins are not destroyed but merely denatured to the point where they lose some of their spatial structure. In the experiment, the addition of the proteus liquid to the boiled egg will reduce the amount of the coagulated protein as compared to the egg sitting in water alone. This reduction in solid mass is the result of amino acid hydrolysis by proteolytic digestion. In the enzyme addition part of the experiment, we will be using a concentrated protease for qualitative purposes only. No exact weights have been measured as the amount of hydrolyzed protein will not be quantified at the end. No water will be added to the raw samples as the available moisture content in the uncooked egg is high enough that we will just mix the protease powder right into the raw egg. For the boiled egg, we will need to add some water to the matrix to allow for the protease to activate and start the protein hydrolysis. For the control sample, we will just simply add some water. For what will become our enzyme activated sample, we will first mix our protease into the water very well to allow it to properly dissolve and then add it to the egg. With a little bit of mixing and time, there should be a noticeable reduction of solids.